Hey guys, one more video. Well, this one's for shoes and clothes. It's gonna kind of go over the best way to um, secure those and hang those so we don't lose tags, so the things don't fall off hangers. Um, so we're gonna start with shoes. And we got two, two kinds here. We got ones that we can zip tie and ones that we can't. So um, if your shoes are zip tieable, that is the very best way to do shoes. And that is putting the shoes together, matching just the way that they would go on and taking a zip tie anywhere you can get around those shoes. And we're gonna zip tie them. Now before, I like if I have my tags printed before, I go ahead and take that tag and I rip just a little tiny hole in it there on the top and it can, the zip tie will go right through it and I can go ahead and zip tie the tag to it. Now, if you don't have the tags done, you can always put another zip tie on there for the tag, but that's the way the tag honestly stays the most secure on there and that the shoes hang um, the way that we have them displayed. They hang or they sit nicely on the shelf that way, but they stay together and we don't lose the right shoe or the left shoe and are unable to sell them. So if you can zip tie them at all, if there's the little thing on the back or anywhere in the sandal or in the tennis shoe, um, just not through the laces because obviously the laces can come untied. So that's the best way to do shoes. Now, should you be selling a pair of shoes that just there's no way to um, secure these because there's no where to zip tie them, we're gonna go ahead and use a Ziploc bag and put those shoes in. And again, if you watch the um, toy and book video, we always wanna make sure that we take the top I have all my supplies right here in a awesome in a little bag that's kind of so I can grab stuff as I go. I'm gonna grab my tape here and um use make sure you're not using scotch tape on these bags because it comes right out, but make sure you tape across the top of that and then fold down on here so it secures that. And what we usually hang these, we we put a little hole through the top of the bug bag, so they'll still hang nice and they'll stay still hang flat. And um, you just can put the tag anywhere on the on the bag there, and they will stay together. So that is shoes. All right. So clothes. Um, let's say I'm selling these two boys, you know, these two boys collared shirts. Make sure that the hanger looks like a question mark. I was going to hang with the hook um, when I'm looking at it, it's facing to the left. And I'm going to go ahead and remember that we use adult hangers for anything size five and up, and that's because the clothes fall off of the hangers, they get on the floor, they get dirty, they lose their tags easier, just all that stuff happens when they're not on the right size hanger. So anything that's five and up, please use adult hangers. Wire hangers are the best, but if you don't have wire hangers, that's okay. So if I wanna sell these two shoes, shirts together, I'm gonna go ahead and put them on the hanger, and then I'm gonna put them together. Now it's really important, this, this next part, that we, that we zip tie these. We, we don't use rubber bands, but that we zip tie them, and that you don't zip tie them too tight, and you don't zip tie them around the hanger. We don't wanna go around. We wanna go up and through all the way because they slide right off the top, and we don't want this too tight, so then that way they can hang more naturally on the shelf. We just want them to where these shirts are not gonna come apart. Also, this makes it to where people can flip it up and see the shirt behind it really well. Make sure they're both hanging that way, and that is how we hang like double, um, double and triple pieces. You can put up to three hangers together, and so that's the best way to do that. Um, all right, tagging when the ta when the if you have a tagging gun, the only time you can use a tagging gun is if the item has a physical tag in it, like this. Make sure that you are only tagging through the tag here. Or you can tag, if it's a brand new piece like this is, you could tag through the tag. But we're gonna just go ahead and tag there so the tag will hang right there on the outside just like this and be easy to see. But we're not gonna compromise the clothes in any way if we're not tagging through. That's why we don't use the tagging on and clothes because it compromises the clothes and your um, piece of clothing becomes unsellable. Nobody wants to buy clothes with holes in them. So only a tagging, if you're using a tagging gun, only if it's through the tag there. All right, so a lot of people get really frustrated because trying to hang something like this and you don't have a pants hanger, all you have is this. They, they have to use those really big safety pins, but I've kind of found a pretty cool way to secure these without using real big safety pins. You can use just a regular size one like this, put it through the top like this, 
And then we're gonna go up and over. Instead of through, we're gonna go up and over. Can you get in there real good like this? Up and over the hanger, kind of folding, kind of just like a taco in there and then closing it up over top. I'm gonna do that one more time because it, instead of putting both pieces of clothes through, it hangs through. So we're gonna do that to this side. Let me get another one. Again, you don't have to use, I'm using, I'm not using the big ones like this. These kind of leave bigger holes, but I can use these smaller ones like this and they fit just perfectly fine. Um, holding up these, these articles of clothing here. And I just fold it over again. I just fold it over and I can go right through the top. Safety pin it together. Oops, forgot to close it with help. And we've made ourselves a pants hanger without having to have one. And if I'm gonna go ahead and sew an outfit, like an athletic outfit here, I'm gonna take my shirt, always making sure that that hanger is turned the right way. I'm gonna put my shirt behind it and take my zip tie through it. And I'm not gonna go tight again. It's really important that you don't go tight because what it does, if you do, is these hangers will not hang, they'll hang real tight like this and we need them to hang on the rack like that. So I don't go tight, just enough to secure them to make sure so then that way they can hang naturally however they were. And that works for an outfit like that. Now putting a tag on a piece of clothing that doesn't have that tag, I'm gonna need a safety pin. And we're always gonna safety pin when you're looking at the clothes at the top right portion of the shirt or the piece of clothing that you have. And I'm just gonna take my tag, put my safety pin through it. And then I'm gonna come up here and just get that on. Maybe. Yeah, it usually is pretty simple, but I'm gonna make it a little more complicated today. But the most important thing is that we want that tag to be in the right corner. It's easier to see when going through the racks. It's easier to see um, the price on it as we're, as we're kind of looking through the clothes and stuff. So if it doesn't have, if the tag is printed on, it doesn't have a tag, you need to use a safety pin to print that tag. If it does have a tag, you're more than welcome to use a tagging and through the tag only. Through the tag only. And then remember those zip ties need to go um, around this way and not around this way. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. I hope that helped everybody out a little bit. You guys have a great night.